Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. So today we are taking a look at Ape Matrix. Um, so yeah, it's it's a, a routing system basically, uh, so it allows you to kind of route anything anywhere, and it squeaks as my chair, it's my chair. Um, any route anything anywhere you like basically, interrap audio, audio units and effects and stuff and things like that, it's very cool. Now I've only been playing with this for about an hour and it's quite deep. Um, so this is what I've done so far and I've also got something set up on page two. Now the pages work independently of each other, but kind of play at the same time sort of thing. So it's just that you've got more stuff you can do, but they'd all have to be set up separately. So in a sec, I'll go to page three and I'll set something up there and you can see basically how things get rooted now i haven't gone into using the auxiliary buses a and b and stuff like that yet with aum and things like that so it's just this really is me just having a mess around with it really and learning as i go here a couple of things as well here you have a mixer for everything that's on this particular page page one for instance so you can see i've got various things going there uh, i will also say at the moment we can close that the, the Rosetta instruments, here we have Rosetta Baseline and Rosetta XOX, they're showing up as an instrument. They're actually MIDI effects, uh, but I'll, it doesn't matter. You can still load them in there. It's fine. Uh, but I, I guess eventually when that gets fixed, it'll be on the MIDI page. These little three dots here uh, access the mixer, which we've just seen. MIDI destinations. Now, my MIDI destination for this particular thing, I've just got my oxygen 61 plugged in and that's controlling uh, model d move model d i'll show you that in a sec and this page is the uh, midi patch bay sort of thing so you can close that and and access that here as well but that's just a quick a quick access to it and you can resize things here on the screen you can see or you can make them bigger and this is where you root the midi okay so that's also important as well. But like I said, things get a little bit complex. But this is, if I press the transport now, this is what happens. This will all play together now because Rose, uh, Ruse Maker has been played by the XOX here. And Phase Maker has been played by the Rosetta Baseline. And also Synthmaster 1 here is also been played by the Rosetta Baselines. And that's set up here in the MIDI destinations. So when you set things up here, they'll appear here as well, if they can be MIDI rooted, of course. So you'll see that, um, for instance, this is Rosetta XOX, and that is Ruse Maker. And you will see that Ruse Maker has appeared there as an output. So I've just joined the node there to send um, um, kick X, uh, Rosetta XOX's information to ruse maker okay so and the same for the baseline you'll see that the baseline is sending to phase maker and it's also sending to um synth matter one but anyway let's let listen so the mixer So I've just taken Synthmaster out. Now, let me to load the volume of that a bit. On page two, I have Moog Model D I have an adverb two from audio damage and also cosmonaut from um, Brat Poss, <clears throat> all affecting model D. Okay, so to set that up is really easy. Um, you can switch nodes on and off here like this. And if I play now, all you will hear is model D. Let me stop that. That's model D. If I switch on adverb now and then I root adverb to uh, so you can't hear anything. 
what I have to do is make sure it's armed, both of them are armed, switch on sort of thing. And then on also here as well, but like I said, I'll show you it. I'll show you how you root stuff in a sec. But I also need to root model D to the two effects. Okay, so you can root the effects to, to multiple places, multiple outputs, of course. So I'm going to root model D to adverb, and there it goes, and then to cosmonaut. So now I've rooted model D to both of those effects, and I can ch I can the the great thing is here I can alter the volume. Uh, right, no, actually, I need to turn that on as well. That's better. So yeah, I hadn't switched that on. The cool thing is I can control the effect again by touching the node and... without actually having to leave the page. And I think that's really clever. Right, so you, you can basically see how that works. That it's rooted like you would root effects, except that it's laid out in a grid sort of thing. Okay, okay. So let's set up something completely new because otherwise we'll get confused. So let's go to a blank page. And let's say for the basic, basic, basic thing, I'm going to just want a synth to play with my MIDI keyboard. Okay, so... You hit this little plus button here and it will bring up all or effects or effects FM and then in MIDI effects so you see step poly up unit that's a MIDI effects that's where Rosetta should be okay that's where the Rosetta they, 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 they should be there but they're not but it doesn't matter because you can still use them so I'm just going to show you I'll show you how you set them up as well so let's choose an instrument Okay, so let's choose something like, I, I don't know, something that will load up really quick. Let's choose Cauldron, okay? And then what will happen is you'll get this. Now, you can do Connects, but just do OK, okay? And then it will you'll see it will be there. Now, you'll see it'll be slightly darker. You need to turn it on. You need to turn Cauldron on, okay? This is cool because when you're doing a jam, you can switch things on and off here, or you can move nodes, put them back in, etc., etc. That's cool. Now, at the moment, if I tap on this, you will see Cauldron. And you'll see, if I play my MIDI keyboard, it's only going to play Model D. Okay? If I hit this little keyboard here, it won't play anything either. Because we have to root stuff around. All right? So, let's see. Let's, let's root this. So, let's go to MIDI Routing and MIDI patch bay. But first of all, I'm going to turn MIDI destinations on. And you see each page is independent, so I need to turn my oxygen on for page three as well. But if I had other MIDI controllers plugged in, I could choose them instead of the oxygen keyboard. However, let's go to MIDI again and go to MIDI patch bay. You will see at the moment still, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me go back to this, and I'm just going to switch off. Model D, okay, so you're not hearing it play. Let's go back to our MIDI patch bay here. You'll see that at the moment, nothing is rooted. If we can hit keyboard, nothing is rooted to Cauldron. But if I do this, and then, right, no, I'm going to show you again. Let me do this, okay? Again, still nothing. But I need to turn. Now, what am I doing wrong here? That's it. No. <laughs> Now, this is good, guys, because I need to know why Cauldron's not playing now. See what I mean? This gets gets really gets really confusing. I, I must be doing something wrong here. You, oh, Joe, you know what? Seriously. Honest, I'm not kidding. Right, th see, this is what I did wrong. All right, and this is good for you to see. Let me go back to MIDI Patch Bay. Let me ignore all those close i have to root i have to root cauldron to the output okay but you still won't get anything there because of the midi connections aren't there let's go to midi now let's see if we can get this to work midi patch bay um to cauldron right 
let's open this. Let's choose uh, just the just the keyboard sound. Right. Okay. There you go. So let's look at the routing system for that. Keyboard two, cauldron, done. Routing. Make sure cauldron is switched on. Now we let play my MIDI keyboard. Yes, because my oxygen is switched on. However, that doesn't do anything. So that seems to work okay. Now, let's see. Let's say, let me just make a very slight adjustment in, in, uh, in here. And also to the effects. Okay, so that's completely dry now, cauldron is. I want to affect cauldron with an effect. Hope you're following along here. Right. <clears throat> I'm not going to go on for much longer. I'm just basically going to go through that, I think. So to add an effect to cauldron, I tap on this, go to effects, and let's add, uh, let's see, let's, let's add a, an FAC chorus. Okay, chorus and okay. And chorus will appear there, so I need to switch it on. I need to root chorus to the output. That's... I'll lower that band. If I switch chorus on now... So I've rooted the uh, cauldron to co chorus. And I have to make sure it's obviously going to the output as well. Right, let me see. Okay, so that's that. Now let's say, for instance, I want to get Rosetta MIDI Suite to play, uh, one of the Rosetta MIDI Suites to play Cauldron. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to tap another thing here. And like I said, they should be in MIDI, but they're not, they're here in, in effects somewhere. Uh, no, in, in in instruments they are. Choose instrument. Okay, so there they are there. So I'm gonna use a I don't know. I'll get a a a, 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 a particles. I'll get a particles. Particles to control. Okay, I want particles to control. And remember to turn it on so it's highlighted. So I want particles to control cauldron. Okay. Now to do that, I'm going to have to have the transport running, okay? So let me go back to this page here, and I'm just going to turn all these off so that when the transport runs like this, you're not hearing anything at all. Let's go back to page three. Um, right, okay, so we know that we switch particles on, and we don't need to route this anywhere, I don't think, on this page because it's MIDI. So we need to go to our, our MIDI patch bay. And we will see that we can now route a collider to cauldron. So if I press play. Let's go to cauldron here. And let's choose, uh, uh, sorry, particles A minor pentatonic which is what the other ones are running and let's speed these up a little okay go to the um mixer Turn that down a little bit while I'm talking. Okay, so, but cauldron's sounding a little bit dry, isn't it? So we've got it running with, uh, with um, uh, what is it, what did I say, Collider. So now I'm going to apply some effects to cauldron. Okay, so it's basically the same principle as before. <clears throat> Let's choose an effect here. Sorry. I've 
do you know what, eighth area slate. I can just close that by swiping down on it and it'll get rid of the node. Right, let's choose an effect. Now they can be go they can go anywhere that you any way you like, you know, so it doesn't really matter. But let's run uh, it through. I don't know. Let's run that effect through a dub station. Because dub station sounds nice. Okay. So I've got the chorus on, and at any time I can uh change the chorus effect. But it's not so easy to hear as like a delay is gonna be. So now we must turn it on. And we, we're trying to affect, um, what do we want to do? Switch on and. So now I'm affecting Cauldron with dub station, uh, with, uh, yeah, dub station two. And also get, having it played by Rosetta Particles. And let's turn the mix back up on it a little bit. I need to set an A minor pentatonic. I think we... Yeah. So if I go back to page one now and start switching stuff back on... the mood back on so although that does sound a complete mess and why is Cauldron still playing No idea. That's something I'm going to have to look at. And also, I don't want... Right. I don't know why my MIDI keyboard is playing neither. I don't know why my, my MIDI keyboard is playing Colden. So, guys, I'm going to have to really dig in with this. Anyway, so that's how far I've got so far. <laughs> uh, I, I, hopefully, some people will be able to enlighten me on certain things, so that's good. Uh, but I thought I'd give you a quick blast of uh, the kind of thing that you can set up. But like I said, you know, it's just... It's like AUM when AUM first came out. It was very confusing, but now it's super easy. Oops, sorry. Um... Now it's really easy to understand and I get on really well with that. So again, this is just like another another thing that you have to learn and get into. Of course, if that's if you want to, you know, you might not like it, you know, but you can do some really clever routing stuff and things like that. But those things that I've, I've done, there'll be mistakes that I've made during the routing or the setting up. So it's, you know, it's just something you've got to kind of dig in and have a mess around with, you know. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed that. Listen, I'll put links in the description for 8 Matrix um, 2. And um, also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. That's very helpful. And uh, brilliant. I'll see you guys later. 8 Matrix. This is, will feature in many, many more videos. And as soon as I get my head around it properly, then, you know. Also, as well, Alessandro, their developer, has um, started to post some tutorial videos as well. So that's nice. Because you can do some crazy, crazy, crazy modulation routing as well, which is insanely cool. But again, too much to go into in just one video. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.